And welcome back guys to Gold Pass Clash, where we're gonna be discussing today how you can get at least a thousand gems for free, and it's not based on an achievement or spending money. So without further ado, let's get into it. I am here on Gold Pass Clash on my Town Hall 5, and I have done a lot to get really, really close to going to Town Hall 6 already, guys. It's only day eight, the end of day seven here on the series, and there's a lot of cool things that are going on. First of all, though, remember the rules of this series. Number one, we're going to buy the Gold Pass once we're able to at Town Hall 7, and also an additional $5 packs every single month, just to see how far we can get in one year which alludes to rule number three. Rule number two is we're gonna keep our builders busy 24 seven. As you can see, I've got two build, well, you can't see right now, but I've got two builders still working uh, from an upgrade I did last night. And of course, we're gonna record our progress after one year and then resume my old series that I had going. And uh, by the way, don't forget to use code Klaus. Um, I actually saw in the, the shop that there's all these special like options like special things going on so if you guys decide to buy any of these don't forget to hit that white c at the top right hand side of your screen under the red x and then input code klaus or anybody's code just make sure that you're supporting a creator or someone with your uh with your purchases it doesn't cost you anything extra so today um i also have um a whole bunch of other cool things to go like first of all we have an achievement i did successfully defend 10 attacks which is amazing so five gems there you go and also, I will be accepting all 10 of these friend requests like 30 seconds before this video goes live. So if you see uh, the notification that a video has gone live, then hop on and send me a friend request. We still have quite a few friends, uh, friends list remaining, probably about 50 or so. So I'm looking forward to seeing your friend requests and, uh, and yeah, becoming a friend of mine. So I've got one laboratory left guys, 120,000 elixir for the wizard upgrade, because I did unlock the wizards off camera. I also have, um, maxed out the lightning spell. So we've made some massive progress and there is not another barracks upgrade so we're done with the barracks i've also finished the uh the air defense and the wizard tower that one goes level three wizard tower goes level two finished off the air bombs and i think that covers everything that i've maxed out off camera i did the math by the way we get about three days until i'm done with town hall five now that alludes to um the comic question of the day which we'll get to in here just a moment so my second army of the day is going to include my new wizards, which I'm really excited about. I've still got the power potion, so it'll be maxed out. And the uh, the goblins. I decided to include basically every troop that I have access to. So I'm super excited about that. But my first army doesn't have that because I didn't think ahead far enough. But that's fine. So let's go out and smack a, a base or two. And in the meantime, let's answer today's comment question of the day. This one is from Beck, posted in yesterday's video. He says, CQOTD colon or semicolon nobody answered me in the in the comments of last video about which one that is but i love the the correct grammar there i like that he says will you be fully maxing each town hall level or will you utilize some benefits that come with slightly rushing so that you don't waste materials and that is like i said an allusion to what i said a minute ago where i was talking about how i've got about three days or so left and uh in maxing the base but my laboratory has only one upgrade left, unless the wizard gets upgraded twice. I actually don't know. I guess I'll find out. Um, I don't want my lab to sit and do nothing, okay? Um, I, so, so I've made... This is going to be an unofficial rule for this series, and that unofficial rule is that I can upgrade the town hall if there's nothing left to do but collectors and the mines. And the reason for that is simple. As long as I do an extra attack or something, I make up for it. So if I'm not maxing my collectors and mines, but I'm trying to, you know, I'm using I'm using those upgrades as a buffer to fill fill spaces or whatever, and I'm still progressing them, but maybe I don't max them. That's fine. I can make up for that. As long as my defense is done, my traps are done, obviously offensive re resource infrastructure like storages and things, and um, probably even most importantly, the lab right if, if the lab is done or gonna be done and the defenses and everything are done i'm totally cool with moving on to the next town hall level in fact i'll make it even more clear if i finish with elixir i might just go ahead and move to the next town hall level because i don't want elixir or whenever i get to town hall seven dark elixir right i don't want dark elixir to just pile up and waste right so it, i'm gonna be making exceptions i'm always a, a a big proponent of maxing your your town hall 
But if there's a situation where you're sitting with, um, you know, the lab doing nothing for weeks at a time or something like that, there may be more efficient ways to use your time. That's just, that's what I'm saying. So Beck, Beck G, thank you so much for the common question of the day. If you guys have a question, please uh, ask them down below. And um, also, if you like a question that you read in the comments, give it a thumbs up. You can see 18 people, including myself, gave this one a thumbs up. So that actually helped me choose it. It's not how I chose it, but it helped me choose it. So I found a base finally uh, with a decent amount of loot. And uh, I would love to wipe out this air defense in the wizard tower because it's nearby. Let's actually, first of all, make sure there's no clan castle. There's not. That's perfect. And let's deposit these giants way down here now ideally let's just drop some wall breakers oh man no come on wall breakers okay cool uh oh why are you guys going over there blast here let's just drop some lightning spells hopefully these giants i don't think they're gonna get the air defense i don't think they're gonna successfully destroy this air defense i mean i did just lightning it down so maybe maybe it'll work out here let's drop these balloons oh i hit an air bomb no dang it <laughs> Okay, the air defense goes down. Send in the CC. I've got a baby dragon. Oh, no. This is a fail. All right. Well, as long as I get the clan castle, really, that's where I think a lot of the loot is sitting. And I don't need the elixir. Like, that's that's the thing. Like, I'm in a weird stage right now where I really just need gold to make sure I can keep these defenses going. So let's uh, let's go. Why do I have a baby dragon in my clan castle? Normally, what I'll do is I'll bring that that combo for defense, baby dragon, wizard archer uh and that's for 15 troop capacity at tunnel five um ideally i would bring balloons <laughs> that's what i thought i had it's okay we'll be fine um I, I definitely oh the mortar's still alive dang it i just realized that okay maybe we'll get the treasury anyway because it looks like we're outside the range of the mortar although we're losing archers fast okay watch 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 bam look at that that was quite a bit of loot sitting in that their treasury that was awesome i'm not gonna get a uh two star unfortunately but i did get a a reasonable amount of loot so that's cool Ooh, and i got an achievement yep. <laughs> amazing two hundred thousand gold you know what i'll take it that is not too bad so let's let's get that achievement really quickly win 25 multiplayers multi multiplayer battles uh five gems you know what claim that reward i'm cool with it um so okay request for an actual offensive cc here and I'm also going to get some lightning spells. I guess I haven't, uh, why do I have to get lightning spells? Like what, what happened? Did I not use both of them in the last raid? I thought I did. Pretty sure I did. That's not the right tab. Oh, I did use them. All. Oh, and shout out to Dark Knight for the CC. I, I've been missing it lately and I've had to put a big red circle over, um, over the name so that you guys don't miss it. And then I'm able to remember to thank the particular clan mate in the video just with, a you know, text message, I guess you could say. So I'm already ready to go out. Oh, I've got to wait for the lightning spell. Okay, so uh, the subject of today's video, right? Getting about a thousand or so free gems. And that is the mystery of the day. Sorry, I made you wait so long, but I had a lot to go through. Today, I've got several things that I'm doing, and that includes getting the gem mine. Now, many of you may think, well, duh, gem mine, free gems, right? But have you ever done the math on that? Have you ever done the math on that? I'm a, I'm a Builder Hall 3, 120,000 Elixir. Let's go ahead and just get it. Dang it. It's an hour? <laughs> I don't want to wait an hour. I was going to show you guys the numbers. Okay, I'll just tell you the numbers. I'm not going to wait an hour. I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to show you the numbers. Plus of all, let's, let's upgrade these archers while I'm at it. Okay, that's done. The gem mine. That That's what it's all about. It's all about the gem mine. This thing right here, if you don't upgrade it again, will give you 788 gems in a year which is again that's what we're doing right we have we have a, a years long journey ahead of us right so and i'm only eight days in so like i'm basically at the beginning so doing the math you get 2.1 gems per day or something like that with this thing so if you do the math you get about 780 or so gems in a year so if you upgrade the thing to max and i didn't do the math on when you could do that but if you had a max gem mine for a year you get over 1,700 gems. So find the middle, you get about a thousand gems free after a year. So if you, if you don't like builder base, I don't, I don't really like builder base. Don't, don't shoot me in the comments, but I'm just not a big fan. Um, I, I still want to get the gem mine and max it out because it's free gems. And that's so cool. That is so cool. So I am successfully now 
after an hour, I thought it was going to be like the clan castle where you get it immediately. But after an hour, I'm going to start getting free gems. And you want to also time it to where you're collecting the gem mine like, like before Max is out. That way you don't waste your gems, right? So that's something you want to continue or consider. All right, and uh, 25 seconds to go before the lightning spell is done. I know I told you guys, by the way, this is another side note, um, that I wouldn't be uploading videos on Sundays, or maybe like there's like a 50-50 chance. There's probably less than a 50% chance I'll be uploading videos on Sundays, but this Sunday happens to be a good Sunday. I've got lots going on. I'm, I'm using my first wizards. I'm unlocked into gem mine. I mean, it's, it's a good time, right? Today's a good time, so I figured, you know what? I better film before... Uh, stuff starts going on today sunday morning type things you know going to church and whatnot so let's um now that i got my lighting spells i'm going to be using goblins and wizards for the first time in this series let's find a base dudes i don't know about you but allergies are are really really destroying me right now <laughs> it's really bad if any of you guys are especially if you're from texas um you understand it's 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 really bad. So drinking a hot cup of coffee in the mornings, it really helps loosen things up and helps me to feel like a human again. I wake up in the mornings and I sound like a dying frog. I like this base. I'm going to be able to get a lot of loot, even if I don't three star, because again, air defense is on the outside. It's the first defense the giants will go for, which is kind of necessary. And a lot of loot sit on the outside. So giants um redeem yourself please okay there's no cc I, I started deploying and then i backed off because i'm like no don't don't oh, oh yes good job good job uh wall breakers you're awesome um I, I put a couple giants and i backed off like oh snap there could be a clan castle i didn't check it just doesn't look like a base that would have clan castle you know all right so balloons um here let's do this let's put one balloon on this side to distract the wizard tower and put the big group on the left and then i've also got some cc here let's lightning the that group over there. I literally just destroyed the mortar with the lightning spell. Ha <laughs> ha. That's amazing. I'm not going to need my clan castle. I'm not going to need it. That's amazing. Here, let's um let's save the CC actually. Let's put the barbarians and archers over here. Let's enjoy the goblins over here and put down a few wizards over here and the wall breakers. I love the wizards. Like they're a cool troop. Normally, I prefer the flexibility of having a lot of archers versus having wizards, but Sometimes the wizards are just the thing that you need. Lots of hit points all at once, lots of damage all at once. And they're especially good at destroying enemy clan castle troops. So I'll be uh, definitely using them in that way very, very soon. And plus, I mean, they do, because one wizard is four troop capacity, the archers are one. They do more than four times the damage of an archer each. So if you need a lots of damage output in your army, the wizard is where it's at. They're just a beefier, better version of the archer. But again, I like the flexibility normally of having archers. All right, so that was an easy three-star. Like, I don't know what happened in the previous, like the previous attack, but I definitely would have preferred that to have happened before. Okay, so guys, we're good to go. Now let's finish with the final lab upgrade unless this wizard goes to level three. I don't think so because the giant is maxed at level two, the balloon's maxed at level two, and normally these like higher tier troops at the lower levels follow the same upgrade path so i think that this is it level two wizard um eight hour upgrade it'll be done tonight and i'll find out actually this evening not tonight it won't be dark yet but i'll find out whether or not this thing gets another upgrade and i may or may not go to town hall six before you see me again tomorrow i don't know we'll find out so let's go ahead and upgrade this wizard guys and focus now on uh, on defenses okay so let's do the archer tower we'll do both of these archer towers actually and i'm going to upgrade one of these cannons too because i'm not sure if level six is maxed i think it is I'm pretty confident it is so we'll do two of these as well just to kind of mix it up there you go four defenses going you can see what the priorities are and again if these all these defenses are gone and this lab is done and I've got all these sitting here, and they all need to be... Look, like, these two need to be upgraded once. These two, these two, and these two need to be upgraded twice. And then these two need to be upgraded four times. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, four times. So, I'm not going to wait for that. I Again, I can make up the loot issue, no problem. I will just upgrade the town hall, and uh, we'll unlock some cool stuff. In fact, I might even do a town hall six upgrade guide. Who knows? 
be looking forward to it. That's going to be it for me today, guys, in this episode of uh, Gold Pass Clash. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, like, and subscribe, and all that stuff. Don't forget to use code CLOSS and post your comment questions of the day down below. I love answering your questions. And, and um, special shout out to Beck once again for the amazing question. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you all next time.